Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I have a special guest, it's my husband John. Hey guys. <laughs> and I have an exciting video for y'all. So he is gonna be making a bleach shirt for me and he's never bleached before, never really wanted to, but today he's gonna learn and we're really excited about it. So John, let's start by, you tell me what you know about bleach shirts before you even do it. Um, and I'll take you right. <laughs> I'm guessing the first step would be to um, find a file, like a PNG, I think yes, you said? Yes, yes, you remember that. Okay, so we get the PNG file, and I think I remember you like printing it out. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was regular paper, but you printed it on something. Yeah, sublimation paper. Something, okay, right? sublimation paper. And then, I imagine you get a shirt. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I know bleach. Yeah, how much of a bleach ratio do you think I need? Uh, I'm gonna guess 50 to 1. 100% bleach. Oh, 100%. 100%. Uh, okay. Okay, so 100% bleach. How do you get your template? Like, or do you know what you need to do as a template, or do you just spray it on there, or do you know how to get that? How do you do that? Did you watch me do it? Let's see if you remember. I think I've seen you use chalk, maybe. Mm -hmm. Drop like I use like chalk. Drop with chalk mm -hmm. or something. Like or flour, but mostly chalk. Lately. Flour. Uh, yeah, I think I've seen you use the chalk. Mm -hmm. And. I think you took the paper off and sprayed it. I remember seeing you take the paper off and spray yeah. it. No. No, you leave the paper. Yeah, you take the paper off and spray it. Okay. Yeah, you don't leave the paper on. And then, I'm guessing after that you put the paper on. I'm not sure what comes after that. Yeah. Well, he's going to find out today and we'll show him step by step. But the first things first is he's going to have to go find me a file. So. I have quite a few picked out already. Oh gosh, yeah, some of them I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what kind of shirt you're making me, but we'll find out how it turns out and we'll see how he does. So let's get into it. Cool. Okay, so John is on Etsy and we are looking for a PNG file and I'm just kind of leaving this up to him. He knows what I like. So uh, John, show the ones that you... <laughs> um, first, it's, you know, it'd be kind of funny. I, I would think it was funny. Yeah. Okay. Um, I found I hate everybody, but coffee helps. Oh, okay. Well, that, that's not really sad. She should put I love everyone. <laughs> yes. Okay. I, I don't know. Um, I don't play video games, but this is like Fallout stuff. I've always liked the little Fallout, the little vault boy right there, the little vault boy thing. But is that Sally? Is yes, that, Sally? that right there is Sally. Right there. Um, Imagine you wearing that walking around. That'd be, that'd be hilarious. I don't know about that. And. I like that one a lot. I, I think true that's crime true. True crime. Amazon and Am crime. Because you know I'm all about true crime and I'm all about Amazon Prime. And you like Coca-Cola and that's what the Fallout thing I was looking at. Oh my gosh. And true crime and crap. And that's kind of that, funny. Yeah, that's kind of me. Okay, well let's see which one he chooses. On a more serious note, uh, between those, and I might find something else, but it looks like between that one and that one's like the more serious. Okay. Good choices, you and know that one, me. That's probably the one we'll go with. But, uh, you know. no, I don't know about that. <laughs> I would probably never, I would never wear that probably. Because I don't even know who that is or what that is. Okay, but let's see what he chooses. Okay, so I grabbed a stack of my size here. And he's going to pick what shirt he thinks would look good with it. Mm-hmm. what color you picked out she says it's navy but i think it's more gray it is definitely navy navy because i ordered it it's Navy's called heather like, navy <laughs> I, don't, I don't see navy anywhere here but this does not look navy though. look at it next to his shirt that is definitely blue Okay, so we got the print printed out and now John is gonna trim it down. It looks good, looks perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's head outside. Okay, so we're outside. 
John, tell me what we got going on here. What do we got? Well, we got a piece of chalk and some cardboard. So what? tell me what is the cardboard for? Um, See if he remembers. To keep the bleach from bleeding through, right? Yes. Don't you stick the cardboard in between the yes, shirt? Yes, in okay. between the shirt, and okay. And it keeps from bleeding through to the back And the, side, what right? is the chalk for? Do you remember? I don't know about that. Do you not remember? <laughs> just use your best guess. What do you What do you think we're gonna use the chalk for? I mean, just coloring around it. I don't okay, know. Okay, for what? A what is the word? A temp <laughs> template. Yes, to, so you know where to. I, I guess stick this, but I'm yeah. Think of how that would work. <laughs> we just talked about uh, it. Oh, you stick. Okay, now that don't make any sense to me. I don't know. Okay, I put, have to, you have to match Okay, we'll we'll show you that part. And then what is inside of the Lysol? It's not Lysol, it is what, 100%? Um, bleach. Okay, 100% bleach. 100%. Okay, so this is what we got. We got the cardboard, the design, the shirt, the chalk, and the bleach. That's all we need. So let's go ahead and get to it. And then just make sure it like lays flat. The back, so I don't think it, there it is. Okay, make sure it stays, it's centered. Yeah, it's close enough. All right, there. Okay. Okay, so John did the first step. He put the cardboard in the, in the middle, which is good. Mm -hmm. So now what, okay, this is where you have your chalk. Okay. So put your, get your paper, and you're gonna put it upside down, and you're gonna, and then now what do you think the chalk's for? I'm trying to figure out how to center this. I need a tape measure. Three finger, no, you just use your fingers. Huh? So three fingers down. <laughs> three fingers down. <laughs> you go. <laughs> so three you fingers. You do three fingers. Right there. And yeah, and then you just use your best judgment by looking at the sides. Oh, here we go. You guys are gonna see the real jo OCD. Uh, if it was OCD, <laughs> you don't need a tape measure, babe. I do need a tape. measure. You don't need a tape I measure. I need a tape measure. So three fingers. Yeah. And then let's do like that. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's pretty close. Okay. So next, what do you think you use your chalk for? I guess draw around that. Yes. Okay. And you don't need it like like enough, but okay. it comes right off. It's okay if it adds color to it, but. Oh my God. What's it's okay. Yeah, this is normal, babe. And it does, like I said, it's not going to make a perfect line, but you're going to see it when you take it off. And just keep it kind of. This ain't working. You need a. Maybe it'll work. I've, I've done hundreds of shirts like this. You can always learn to do it better. I used to use flour, but. Oh God, this is worse. But this is just going to give you an idea of where you need to spray the most concentrated amount, which is where you're going to put your design. So that's why we do this here. Some people don't use templates, but I like having it as a template because you you know where you need to spray that's your design. Very good. Babe, I, when you take it off, you'll see exactly where you need bleach. Perfect. Okay, now you can remove your design, and as you can see, you'll know where to spray. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna go move this far, far away. This is for you. Really okay, so you're gonna have to, okay, listen. This is important, John. No, not too concentrated, not too much, because it will never dry in this winter weather. Okay, so first you're gonna spray, well, you just do your own thing. I'm just gonna let you, you do your own thing. You spray heavier right there? Well, heavier, but you just want it more like, you're gonna spray in a, in a pattern in the center, and oh then you're gosh. in the end, you're gonna stand a little bit further back, and you're gonna do some. No, you go closer and you just do it around. Okay, now you're gonna go in the middle, babe. There you go. Hardcore? Yeah. Okay, we had to stop because our spray bottle went out. <laughs> so, here's a new one. That's probably good. Okay, so now you got your design, and then you have some of the spr splatters. Do you want to make any big splatters around it, or do you just want it to be no, like that? That's good, like that, yeah. All right, so now we just let the sun turn the shirt for a little bit, and then we'll flip it over and do the back. What do you think so far? <laughs> Is it know. your calling? Is this your thing? No. No, <laughs> okay, now we'll just wait. Okay, so as you can see, his shirt is wide enough. Mm -hmm. um, so now we're gonna flip it to the back and he's gonna just do whatever he thinks to the back. <laughs> oh man, it's got stuff all over. It's all right. 
again. Just no concentrated areas this time. You just kind of do like. Oh yeah, no. I like just a couple sprays, like. Oh no. That's good. That's probably good anyway. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we sit and wait for the back to process, and then we'll go wash it. Process. <laughs> All right, well, it's dark in here. <laughs> All right, John, what's the next step? We got it inside. Uh, I think wash it in a washing machine and then maybe dry it, I would imagine, because it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep, well, we're gonna, so we're gonna go ahead and put it on the wash at what, do you think it's hot water or cold water, John? It seems like it'd be hot water, but. Yeah, because you gotta cancel, the, well, you do warm water to kind of get the bleach, you know, mm -hmm. cancel out. It seems like hot water, I don't know. Though. All right, so we're gonna go wash it at, with just a little bit of detergent and warm water. Okay. John, this is not a campfire. Okay, so we're not gonna use the big press for this video just because we're gonna do one shirt, so we just turn on the small press. So, um, John, what I have here is what you'll need. So, tell me what the first step is. Mm. What do you think that you need to do first? Lay the shirt in there? No, lay the design on the shirt. Well, look at the stuff I have sitting down there. Uh oh. Lay the paper on the shirt? Okay, but why is there two pieces of paper? One on the bottom of the shirt and one on the top. One on one on the top, but where's the other one go? In the middle. <laughs> okay, so we have a piece of paper on the top and then one in the middle because- In the middle of the shirt? In, the, in between like a sandwich. Because this stuff bleeds wherever it, it'll, it's like a gas. So you have to have- Oh, so what's the best way to get that in there? You just shove it in there. It's not, I don't know about this. Put good. your hand on the top on the ground top of it and just push it in there. Sorry about the lighting, you guys. It's late and the lighting in this room is not good. And then you just straighten out the best you can. And then flatten it back down. And then you're gonna use the lint roller. Just in your spot. Is it sticky? Yeah. Just in the spot where your design's gonna be pressed. And this isn't as important on the colored shirts as it is on white, but I always just lint roll it a little bit just in case. Cause it's not gonna show up as, as big as it would on white shirts. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, that's probably good. Okay, so the heat press is heat up to temperature and now, John, you have to put your um, paper on. Seems like that looks right. Obviously, I guess you gotta lay it like that to transfer, right? Mm-hmm. And then you said there's tape. Yeah, you gotta put tape on it. One in each corner. Well, not each corner. You put one in the top corner. So I did the three finger the thing again? You just wherever. You just look at the, you actually just center it with your, um. Does that look right? Yeah, that looks good. That's, I don't want it to look stupid. Yeah, that looks good, babe. And just make sure your paper's straight looking. Yeah. And then you tape it down. Top, oh. top left corner and the bottom right corner. <laughs> Bless you, Caroline. <laughs> She's making her appearance. Sorry again about the lighting, you guys. It's just, we need to replace the lights in it's here. It's really hard to see. I'll put one there and there too. No, I don't. Should I? I mean, if you want to. Uh, well, you can put it on your press first and then you put uh, that paper on top. So I remember to hold that. So I don't know how to, because you said something about pressure adjustment or something. What pressure would you think that bleach shirt needs to be, John? High pressure or low pressure? Hmm, uh, seems like high pressure would be it. Low. Well, what is defined as low pressure? Like, you don't have to push down as hard, basically. I know, but I mean, is it like 10 pounds or 20 pounds or 30, 40? Oh. Uh. We don't get too technical here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, butcher paper, yeah. good. He figured out that the butcher paper goes on top. And hold the knob and just... Hold, it. Yeah, hold don't it. let the knob move. Okay. Yeah, I gotta tighten it. Okay, and then once it's kind of centered on your thing, you just push it down. 
All oh, the way. Oh, all oh, the way. Oh. <laughs> Screamed at me. <laughs> <laughs> Getting anxiety there for a minute. Okay, and now we wait 385 for 60 <clears throat> seconds. And then when it beeps, you open it up and take it off immediately. You got to take the paper off. Just the paper, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> then slide it. No, no. slide your heat press over. Okay. Okay. And then go ahead and just, and it's gonna be scorched, and I'll show you how to fix that. All right, okay, go so ahead and peel your paper off. Peel it? Just, Is it hot? Babe, just oh. peel it off. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Just, just rip it like a band aid. Oh, well, look at your work. Woo! Okay, so now you see there's a little scorching, and that's because we didn't let it rest because we wanted to get this done. So mm -hmm. we're taking 100% peroxide, and then you're gonna spritz it all over your um, white. What a spritz. <laughs> just. <laughs> Here we go again with this stuff. This is junky sprayer you got going there. Here, let me, let me get it. I, I got the magic. You can't get the it. full pump because of the, it's too big for this little container. Oh, oh my gosh. here we go. Gotcha. All right, spray it. Thank you, sweetie. Not too much. Just There we go. All right, that's good. <laughs> so now you take your heat press and just open it up over your um, shirt. Like Act like you're going to close it, but don't close it. Does that make sense? So then they just let it heat up that peroxide and it's gonna magically turn white. <laughs> magically? Because yeah. <laughs> we're magicians. Okay, well, I think it should be good. So let's go ahead and open it up and see. Looks good. Okay, I'm gonna set the bonds apart. I'll go ahead and try it on and we will see how John's bleach job does, but it looks like it did really good. I love you. Oh. Love you too, Courtney. Okay, here is how John's shirt turned out. I think it looks so good. <laughs> he did such a good job. Like that was his very first time and I think it looks great. Here's the back And then here's the front All right, John. So what did you think about bleaching? Do you think that it is a new career path for you? Yeah, I'll, I'll be doing it all day every day from now on. <laughs> No, I really no. doubt he'll I'll ever get him to do it again, but it was still fun though, right? Trying something different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was fun. And seeing different. kind of what what I used to I used to make and sell them now I kind of just do them for fun, but it's a lot of work that goes into these shirts for sure, isn't mm -hmm. it? It's a lot. It's a lot more than I thought. It's more tedious and stuff like mm -hmm. that, if that makes sense. And if you like mess up, you have to start all over. Yeah. It's not like something that you can just fix. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this kind of video, let me know, because I have a couple other things I might want him to try out that I can teach him. Oh, um, what, what is that? So I have some ideas. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And we will see y'all in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. And I'll see y'all later. All right, Bye. take it easy, guys.